Okay, so today we're just going to do a real high view, 30,000 foot view, how to increase your click-through rate on your AdWords campaigns. I'm not going to go into crazy detail. I'll save that for more advanced videos. This is just to get you something that you can start implementing immediately to get higher click-through rates. So first, log into your campaign. We're going into our white label campaign. You should see this, your overview home screen. Come down to ad groups. We're going to go into ad groups. And if you don't have these columns, you can go up here to modify columns and set them up. And we're going to sort by CTR. You can see I've already done that. And here's a little explanation of what click-through rate is for those of you who are new. Click-through rate, CTR, as it's called, measures how often people click your ad after it's shown to them, which is an impression, which can help you understand the effectiveness of your ad. So it's basically just clicks versus impressions, these two columns right here. As you can see, our, our ads just crush it right now. They're doing really well. We don't have that much that data, though, but, you know, it's a test campaign, so we're just playing around with it still. So it's real simple <clears throat> how you increase your, in, increase your click-through rate. So let's, just, let's just go right to it, actually. Sort by clicks. Let's go to the sky. We'll go up here into ads for, for this ad group. Now, this is something you're going to do every single week, okay? You're going to come in, you're going to look at the data, the clicks and impressions, click-through rate, and conversion rate. Conversion rate is very important. That's what you should optimize your ads based off of, not just click-through rate. Okay? So this click-through rate at 5.5%, awesome. Only one click, not enough data to do anything yet. This one, three clicks, 2.6%. So it's on the lower end. You don't really want to go below 2.5% for a click-through rate. You should pause anything below that, it's assuming it's not converting. Okay, so that's the that's the lower end of the click through rate is two point five percent. Where you want to be is seven to ten. That's the the ideal. So this one's converting at thirty three percent though, which is awesome. So we're just not even going to bother with it. We're going to leave it. That's a winner. You, I mean, leads is the name of the game, not just percentages of click through rates. So you can see we already did this. We came in. This one had no. It's only had three impressions, but there's just no data. So we're going to pause that. Now we're going to run our two winners against each other for the next seven days and in seven days we're going to come back in here and look at the data again for the last 14 days and we're going to see what's what now this one might have a higher click through rate by then and a lower conversion rate or this one could be converting at 50 percent and have a shitty convert uh, click through rate you we're going to we're going to optimize ads based on conversion rate that's what you should be doing okay so it's very important that you come in here every seven days you're going to pause the loser and you're gonna re you're gonna rewrite another one to go against your winner. That's that's it. That's really it. That's how you improve your click through rate. It's just testing every week, testing. So I know it's not that uh, mind blowingly crazy training, but that's really it. It's really simple. I mean, you just come in here, look at the data, and drop the loser, and create a new one to go against the winner. And then you do that every seven days, every fourteen days, whatever your choice. You know, it's up to you. So let me know if you guys have any questions about that in the uh, comments below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Check out the links in the description. I've dropped some cool stuff in there for you, including a link to our Facebook group. 